Uh, I'm John Quelch, Dean of Miami Business School. I'm here with Mutar Kent, uh, Chairman of uh, the Coca-Cola Company. Uh, I want to talk, uh, Mutar, a little bit about uh, water neutrality. We're starting a new MS in sustainable business here at uh, Miami Business School. You've done a fantastic job on that. How did that happen? Well, it happened um, from a belief uh, that uh, we need to do uh, play our role um, in, in helping uh, to uh, create more respect for one of the most important resources in the world, water. Uh, it's such a critical resource, not just for us, but for the whole world. And we went about uh, looking at how um, we could be the first large user of water in the world to be, uh, become water neutral. And uh, we started working on it. Uh, and in 2010, we put out a public goal uh, saying that by 2020, we would like to be water neutral. Uh, it was first um, a, a really not understood that well, and people were, were kind of scratching their heads as to what we were doing. But they soon very, very soon got uh, to understand it. Uh, we went to work on it with our bottling partners around the world. And through uh, technology, reducing the amount of water we use in our uh, factories around the world in 207 nations, through um, recycling programs, uh, and through replenishment uh, uh, projects all around the world, um, giving back the clean water to communities, we were able to achieve that uh, 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 goal in five years ahead of schedule, in 2015. Three other areas that you've been very much focused on, very impressive, uh, women, empowerment, um, the uh, well-being issue, and also uh, waste reduction. Could you talk about each of those three? Yeah, so we were guided through uh, the three W's initially, uh, um, women, water, and well-being. Uh, through the, uh, my tenure uh, and made a, a real difference in the world and communities both with all those three, um, the water I, we just talked about, women um, first internally we wanted to uh, achieve a much higher percentage of women leadership than we had uh, back in 2008 and we got those numbers up through meaningful programs inside the Coca-Cola company to um, the, the, the high 30s, high, uh, er, uh, low 40% numbers from teens. Um, and then uh, we went about saying uh, that's not enough. We want to do, uh, make a real difference outside of the four walls of the Coca-Cola system and, and created the 5 by 20 program, the 5 million women entrepreneurs by 2020. And we uh, are going to achieve that number, externally audited number by 2020, uh, 5 million women entrepreneurs. And we believe that all the communities that um, uh, uh, we serve around the world uh, are going to become stronger as a result of those 5 million women entrepreneurs and other women that they hire as they go uh, get into business. And ma many of them are going into retailing, right? Retailing, uh, distribution, micro distribution, retailing, um, 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 and also um, food service, uh, restaurants and so forth. And then uh, well-being, um, uh, playing a role in well-being uh, what is a really critical important aspect of being a global beverage company and so through uh, innovation more low calorie beverages uh, low, uh, no calorie beverages through uh, innovative products through uh, smaller package sizes uh, and then playing a role also in in lending our uh, um, very strong uh, global distribution system to uh, medical supplies uh, like we did in the last mile program in Africa corporate collaborating with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, we were able to achieve um, a, a increased distribution of availability of, of medicine by 30% in, in targeted 12 African countries many other programs like this were uh, where we have achieved uh, success with uh, our and our uh, th those um, come into our well-being uh, architecture. Right. Uh, final question: uh, Coca-Cola, I think, was the first uh, Fortune 500 company to appoint a chief sustainability officer. Yeah. I think that was you who yeah. made the appointment. Um, what do you look for, or what should a company CEO look for in terms of the skill set and characteristics of a chief sustainability officer? 
What did uh, you first, see? First, I think, foremost, a, a real belief uh, that, uh, uh, that, that they can steward um, all the resources uh, and the people uh, uh, of a company, associates of a company, in the task of, of creating and, 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 and uh, ensuring that that company can play an important, meaningful role in the uh, transfer uh, uh, to the next generation of a better planet. That, to me, a real belief, inherent belief in that person, a, a, a commitment in that person to be able to achieve that. And then, um, uh, finally, uh, uh, ensuring that that person can um, um, partner with many other institutions outside of the company to achieve those goals because you can never achieve those goals alone and therefore you need to create a multiples a multiple of strong partnerships and that person has to be able to have their relationships and be have the ability to create those relationships and generate those partnerships to achieve the goals. Okay. Mutah, thanks for joining us at Miami Business Thank School. You. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.